I'm going to respond to the video called 50 Female Privileges by Dr. Shime or Shame. Sorry, I don't know how you pronounce his name. Anyways, I know this video was uploaded in 2016, but I really should have responded to it a long time ago. So here we go. Anyway, Lacey Green recently uploaded a video titled Trans Men Explain Male Privilege, and it inspired me to make a response. Here are 50 female privileges. Privilege is being able to steal a man's sperm and then sue him for child support. So the article says, Woman used sperm from oral sex to get pregnant gets child support. And Dr. Shame interprets this as stealing a man's sperm. The man willingly gave his sperm away by ejaculating on the woman, whether it's oral sex or normal sex. So it's not stealing. Privilege is being able to rape a man or an underage boy and then sue him for child support. That is messed up. But it's very, very rare for a woman to rape a man compared to vice versa. So you are talking about an unrealistic scenario here. As for underage boys, female pedophiles are also very rare. So again, it's an unrealistic scenario. Privilege is having the right to abort a fetus or give a child up for adoption in complete disregard for the wishes of the father. A woman cannot just have an abortion anytime she wants, at least not in America. There are restrictions to abortion, especially after Donald Trump became president. And even if women do have more reproductive rights than men do, that's not necessarily a bad thing because it's women who have to put up with the physical burden of being pregnant and giving birth. Men do not have to put up with any of that. As for adoption, women make more of the decisions in that because mothers are obviously more likely than fathers to stick around. Oftentimes, these single mothers go through hard times. Maybe more men need to take responsibility of their children and not leave their baby mamas single. Then these men will not have to worry about child support or adoption. Privilege is being able to declare a man to be the father of your child without any proof and having it be his legal responsibility to prove that he isn't the father. Well, if a man had sex with a woman, it is his responsibility to participate in a paternity test to prove whether or not he is the father. Privilege is being able to sue a sperm donor for child support. I just watched a YouTube video about this. This case was a result of a mistake in the papers, and in the end, this man did not have to pay child support. Privilege is having the power to opt out of parenthood. Privilege is actually having reproductive rights. I already went through that. Privilege is having people assume you're an innocent victim in cases of domestic violence, even though half of all domestic violence is reciprocated, and women account for 70% of non-reciprocated domestic violence perpetrators. The most severe domestic violence is usually perpetrated by males to females. For every man killed by his intimate partner, at least three women are killed by theirs. These are the statistics. Yes, women can commit violence too, but when men commit violence, they do more damage and women are weaker than men are. Those are the obvious reasons to why some people are rightfully more concerned when a woman is abused compared to when a man is abused. Privilege is having access to abuse shelters even when you yourself are an abuser and your victim is denied access because of his gender. Like I said, women are the vast majority of victims of severe domestic violence, and they are weaker than men are. So of course women need more help than men when it comes to this. Privilege is not having people assume you did something to deserve it if you are a victim of domestic violence. Really? When do you see women saying male victims of domestic violence deserve it? If anything, I sometimes see men disrespecting victims of abuse. On YouTube, for example, when there is a video of a woman who was a victim of domestic violence. Not all the time, but sometimes, I would see comments written by men saying she deserved it. Women must be kept in line. She must have cheated. Like some of the YouTube comments towards Christy Mack after she got beaten by War Machine. I even see men writing comments admitting to and bragging about beating their girlfriends or wives. I'm not sure if they are just trolling, but it still signifies that these men do not condemn abuse. I don't see women writing comments saying he deserved it when they see a man being a victim of domestic violence. I don't see women writing stuff like, Men must be kept in line, or he must have cheated. And I have never seen a woman bragging about beating her boyfriend or husband. 
privilege is not being laughed at if you are a victim of domestic violence. Like I said, I have seen men on YouTube making fun of women who were abused. Privilege is not being laughed at if you are a victim of rape. As I mentioned earlier, it's very, very rare for a woman to rape a man. So it's an unrealistic scenario. Privilege is being one-third as likely to be a victim of homicide. And being one-tenth as likely to commit homicide, it's mostly men killing people. Women are only about 10% of all murderers. So if they are about 20 to 30% of the murder victims, that's still unfair to them. Privilege is being one-fourth as likely to end up homeless. Yes, males are more likely to be homeless, but are less likely to be victims of sex trafficking. Privileges being one-fourth as likely to be a victim of suicide. Some research say that women are more likely to attempt suicide, but men just succeed with it more. Anyways, men and women handle depression differently. Women are more likely to express how depressed they are, and many of them go on antidepressants, which isn't a good thing. Men, on the other hand, do not talk about their feelings until the last moment, when they decide to end it all. If you are depressed to the point of having suicidal thoughts, you should really communicate to others about it, so they can get you help. Privilege is being one-fifth as likely to be a victim of a hate crime if you are homosexual. Yeah, and it's men who commit hate crimes against other men for being gay. Lesbians can be mistreated as well, but even if they are less likely to be hated than gay men are, they are still disrespected and objectified by straight men in pornography, for example. Even if a straight man is nice and accepting towards lesbians, he may be that way for perverted, selfish reasons. Privilege is being 111th as likely to die doing your job. Men choose way more dangerous jobs on average, and they are more likely to take risks. Regardless, there are more workers' safety laws than before, and women are contributing to helping men in this regard. The majority of people who educate for and fight for workers' safety regulations are women, at least here in Ontario. Back in the old days, if a man complained about workers' safety, he would be told to man up and deal with it or get fired. That obviously wasn't right, but that was the result of a toxically masculine patriarchy, which have sort of subsided nowadays, hopefully. Privilege is having the health issues that affect you get disproportionately more public funding. Breast cancer is actually worse than prostate cancer. Breast cancer kills way more women than prostate cancer kills men. Breast cancer affects a lot of women at a young age, while prostate cancer mostly affects elderly men, and it's very rare for a young man to get it. For prostate cancer, it can take up to 15 years to metastasize, that doctors often don't pay attention to it over other health problems an older man has. With breast cancer, metastasis happens way quicker. This is why breast cancer gets more funding and is treated more seriously than prostate cancer. Privileges have you be illegal for your genitals to be mutilated when you're a baby. I am against male circumcision, and I'm sure most feminists are as well. Hopefully one day it will be banned, but female circumcision is considered worse because it has worse health effects and complications. Privilege is paying less income tax. It can have everything to do with the earnings gap, but just because men pay more taxes on average does not mean women are more privileged or live better lives than men do. Privilege is paying less for car insurance. Well, women pay more for health insurance Privilege is not being forced to sign an agreement saying you will go to war and get maimed or killed if the government tells you to just so you can get a driver's license or to qualify for federal aid. Men are the ones who started all these wars in this world, so it's not women's fault or responsibility that men are forced to participate in them. All these wars seriously need to end permanently. Privilege is not being considered disposable or being expected to be willing to sacrifice yourself for the sake of somebody else just because of their gender. It's mostly traditional gender roles and the patriarchy that shames men for not being brave. Privilege is having it be socially unacceptable for your partner to hit you even if you hit him. Like I said earlier, men are stronger and can do more damage, so they have a greater responsibility to not hurt women than vice versa. Privilege is not being banned from certain places on college campuses just because some special snowflake feels triggered by your presence. 
you are wrong. Women can get banned from campuses for petty reasons too. Privilege is not having to worry about being declared guilty by the court of public opinion at the mere accusation of rape, even in the face of a complete absence of evidence. Public opinion? Sometimes there are people in the public who do not believe rape victims. Privilege is not being shamed for asking for or accepting help of any kind. Men do get help a lot of the times when they ask for it. But even if they are shamed for showing their feelings, like I said, it's because of the patriarchy and traditional gender expectations. Privilege is not having your kids get taken from you in a biased family court. More men need to fight for shared and joint custody. Privilege is being less likely to die from child maltreatment. That can be a coincidence. While boys may be slightly more likely to die, girls are more likely to be victims of child abuse in general. Privilege is being less likely to be a victim of infanticide. Another coincidence. Privilege is being more likely to get adopted. Okay, you have a point there. Boys are equally deserving of a home as girls are. Privilege is having it be socially unacceptable for others to fat shame you while you freely shame men for being short or bald. Where have you been? Men fat shame women all the time, like this preacher. They also call women ugly, especially online, while women barely shame men for how they look. Privilege is having access to scholarships exclusive to your gender, despite the fact that your gender is already overrepresented on campuses. I guess it's to compensate for women being disadvantaged in the past, but there are still fields that women are underrepresented in. Privilege is being able to make a false rape accusation at little personal risk to yourself, even if it's proven that you lied. Rape itself outnumbers false rape accusations. Privilege is not having your natural behavior be pathologized in school, resulting in you getting put on behavior-altering drugs. While I disagree with putting children on drugs, this has nothing to do with gender or being a boy. It has to do with ADHD and learning disabilities. Privilege is getting more lenient sentences for equivalent crimes. I have seen women get ridiculous sentences, and I have seen men get lighter sentences than they deserve. Privilege is living five years longer on average. As I said, men take more dangerous risks, even when it's unnecessary. That's why men are more likely to die and skew the life expectancy statistics. Privilege is having lower standards to live up to. Actually, sometimes women are judged more harshly for their resumes and cover letters than men are. Privilege is having society sympathize with you and not see you as a deadbeat or a loser if you are unable to support your family. What are you talking about? People, especially Midtown men, shame single mothers all the time. They don't talk about the deadbeat dads. Privilege is being entitled to sympathy and having your feelings coddled instead of being told to woman up or to take it like a woman. I already explained why men are shamed for showing their emotions. It's because of patriarchal standards. Privilege is not having your employment rate be in steady decline for the past six decades. That's because men have always been in the workforce, but as time moved on, more and more women are joining the competition, which isn't a bad thing. There just needs to be more jobs. Privilege is being less likely to get laid off during a recession. It depends on the job. Privilege is having people actually care when you are a victim of discrimination. I guess it's because women have a history of being discriminated against, whereas men were always the dominant ones in control, and they still are for the most part. Privilege is not having people assume you're a pedophile if you're a teacher, daycare worker, or pediatrician. I don't see male teachers getting accused of being pedophiles, unless they actually behave like one. Privilege is not being expected to pay for anything when you go on a date. Again, it's due to traditional gender expectations and social norms that were enforced in the past. Privilege is being less likely to suffer from Down syndrome, cerebral palsy, autism, ADHD, and schizophrenia. In terms of health problems, there are disadvantages to being a man, and there are disadvantages of being a woman. Privilege is not having doctors lie to you about requiring spousal consent for you to get certain medical procedures. Blame it on the individual doctors who lie, but men really should know that they don't need spousal consent to get a vasectomy. Privilege is being less likely to be a victim of reproductive coercion. Men can coerce women too, just in different things. 
Privilege is having a little inequality you face be assumed to be caused by discrimination even when all evidence proves that it isn't, and then having said inequality overcompensated for by policies which give you unfair advantages. Again, it's all due to a history of sexism against women. Privilege is not having attempts to address the issues being faced by gender be met with open hostility from universities, politicians and government entities, and well-funded organizations which ironically claim to fight for equality. Well, that depends on where you go. On YouTube, feminism is obviously met with a lot of hostility, while men's rights activists are met with open arms. So that's 50 female privileges. If you can think of any more privileges enjoyed exclusively by women, list them in the comments below, and don't forget to like this video, share it, watch my other videos, and subscribe. Although some of the things you said were true, Dr. Shame, none of the things you said prove that women are privileged compared to men, apart from the statistic in which boys are less likely to be adopted than girls are. Men are still very much privileged compared to women, and I talk about this in my videos all the time. You made a considerable attempt, Dr. Shane, but in the end, I have put your narrative into the ground.